dear friends good morning uh, i am dr reginam linas associate professor and uh, hod of electrical engineering department so in the last lectures we have learned about that why we need why that energy sources electrical vehicle energy sources needed need that uh, the high uh, high specific energy and high specific power so high specific power which will provide uh, the efficiency of the machine that means we can accelerate we, uh, acceleration can be decided by this high specific power and the high specific energy will help us to decide uh, high speed range we already know so today in this lecture this is only the, not technical anything this this is a comparative study of energy sources what are the energy sources available what are all the advantages or disadvantages uh, everything so meanwhile i will go through that uh, rogan plot once again how we can compare uh, energy sources uh, which energy sources we have to opt so that you can easily understand what are all the main uh, benefits of this uh, energy sources uh, for as far as electric as far as electrical vehicle is concerned in the parameters of high specific energy and high specific power let me share my presentation now so today just for uh, making you the screen little more visible i am hiding this uh, video uh, also then uh, you can see the screen i got the feedback like that it will be good uh, if you uh, show the screen i feel it is good so that is what i just am sharing my screen now i hope uh, ma now my screen is visible to your entire uh, uh, entire uh, no your window entire your pc window So as like I already told you, energy sources are classified as the four energy sources normally: batteries, ultra capacitor, ultra flywheel, and fuel cells. Then this is the Rogan plot we have learned already. So energy, all the energy sources should have high specific power and high specific energy. But as far as electrical vehicle is concerned, all the time this both the cases we cannot achieve simultaneously. However, we came to know capacitor is having high specific power and fuel cell is having high specific energy. Then when compared with all other batteries, lithium ion batteries having just improved specific energy as well as specific power. Fly, fly, uh, fly wheels also have less specific energy when compared with uh, lithium ion batteries, but it is having better specific power than ultra capacitor. Ultra capacitor is having high capacitance, and so that it has, uh, when compared with uh, normal capacitor, that specific power is less at the same time, specific energy is more. So, already we know combustion engine and uh, gasoline engine have. The gas turbine is having high specific power and high specific uh, energy. So this is the main things we have learned in the last lecture as well. So these energy sources. First, let me explain about uh, that electrical vehicles. So electromechanical devices are stored. Electrochemical devices are uh, device. It is an electrochemical device. It is stored the energy in electrical form. Then a char rechargeable battery normally we can use so that charging and discharging is possible. Also, it can sustain 2000 to 3000 charge and discharge cycle. It can sustain 2000 to 3000 uh, charge and discharge cycle. So this is the main characteristics of uh, that uh, batteries. Uh, we have in a literature, I have got it from this lit many literatures. We will get many ideas. So I am not going to deep into the individual uh, uh, individual uh, batteries and all already we know lithium ion batteries having good uh, good performance when compared with other batteries so we know already so you can if you want to do anything uh, to the research related to battery and everything you can do uh, that part can go to that path and you can understand anything uh, then this is when compared with uh, our uh, uh, batteries this ultra capacitor or super capacitor having uh, more it can sustain more than 10 lakhs charge and discharge cycle 
so it is good when come lifetime of this uh, ultra, ultra capacitor and super capacitor or super capacitor is more when compared with uh, battery so that's what i want to conclude this so then uh, it is a electrochemical capacitor normally it's a electrochemical cap capacitor it has the characteristics some of the characteristics is, as characteristics or uh, equipment construction is same as uh, that battery some of the some of it will be as like a capacitor so that we can so it, i already told you it has high capacitance so it is store as like a capacitor the energy in electrostatically electrostatically that's what i told it has the combination of some of the characteristics of characteristics of that construction point of view is the combination of uh, battery as well as normal capacitor then it has one positive and negative electrode uh, separated by an electrolyte like battery so that battery is usually normally we have two electrodes positive and negative electrode separated by electrolyte like that it is having that um, positive and negative electrode then it can uh, it can allow very high energy storage density compared with normal compa normal capacitor that is why when compared with normal capacitor their energy capacity energy high specific energy also or uh, uh, more then it to store less energy than similar sized battery so when compared with uh, batteries it store less energy then 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 another one uh, it, it, it it is the energy it will it can uh, this it will discharge the energy very rapidly when compared with the battery and all it will discharge energy very rapidly the reason behind this is for discharging the chemical reaction is no need to consider we don't need to take it will not do any chemical reaction for uh, that uh, discharging then it can be recharged a huge number of cycle times huge number of times I already told you that we can charge and discharge 10 lakhs times, 10 lakh cycles we can, more than 10 lakhs, right? So, there, so even though if you recharge a huge number of times, there is no specific, specific uh, uh, physical or uh, chemical changes will occur. It will be as like same as the normal battery when we got it new. Then it has, uh, already I told you, it has less energy density than batteries. It has higher power density than uh, batteries as well then it has longer lifespan than batteries since reason is that is charging and the discharging cycles are also more so these are the main characteristics of super or uh, ultra capacitor then we can see the next one uh, ultra flywheels ultra flywheels normally we will call it as mechanical battery so it will spin in the high speed spin in the high speed and the store the energy in the form of kinetic energy. So normally this type of ultra flywheels is normally we can useful for we can use it for a regenerative braking applications. We have already explained uh, I have already explained in the previous uh, lectures also what is regenerative action, how it will happen. If you have a doubt, you can refer that uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, that lecture also so it will store the energy in the form of kinetic energy it is not but if we cannot use this energy source for primary source of power generation the reason is we first we have to make by using some motor we have to make this flywheel to rotate in high speed after that only we can extract the energy since it will store the energy in the form of kinetic energy normally energy stored in this inductor in this flywheel is directly proportional to speed square and the mass half j omega square right half so that uh, that we get, that is very we cannot use it for primary source of power generation then fuel cells it is support discharging only the reason is we cannot able to charge the fuel cell so we need to use a extra battery to connect parallel that is what some cases i already told you that some of the cases some equipment is having high specific energy and some energy sources is having uh, high specific power so we can combine together and make it hybrid form of energy sources like that fuel cell cannot only one fuel cell cannot do all those things so what we have to do fuel cell only discharge the energy so we need extra battery or something to side support to charge the energy then 
use hydrogen as the fuel and store the energy in the form of electric form it has high specific energy it has less specific power so previously we have learned that ultra capacitor is having high specific power and uh, uh, previously in the in this slide we have seen ultra al fuel cell is having a uh, high specific uh, energy and a less specific power so if we use flywheel with this we can automatically compensate this fuel cell the reason is fuel cell is having high specific power when compared with fuel cell so uh, compared with fuel cell that our flywheel is having high specific power so that we can combine together and uh, make, make make it as energy source for electrical vehicle applications then that is what i have said this has high specific energy and high and has less specific power so then and in this uh, with this uh, today i would like to uh, conclude uh, today's my uh, presentation of about our uh, about energy sources in uh, different uh, vehicles uh, sorry energy source different types of energy sources so next class i am going to explain about why we need to go for battery management system what are the main components in the battery management system so if we have not gone for a battery management system what are the issues will happen so these are all the things we are going to learn i hope it is very much helpful to you uh, if you like this channel and if you understood it, we are understanding the concept whatever i am explaining if you really and feel that understandable kindly subscribe this channel uh, i hope it is very much helpful to you when i as i have created this type of channel thank you so much all the best